everybody welcome back to the channel Shayna here um, I just wanted to pop on we are going to do our uh, weekly color and chat today and I'm really excited but first I wanted to show you this little guy wow there is a very loud garbage truck outside I apologize for that friends um, it's probably gonna really clang here soon if they're lifting the dumpster uh oh I'm sorry <laughs> um, but I wanted to show this to you guys because I forgot it in my um, uh, coloring book collection. It's really nothing, but I got this at the Epcot Festival of the Arts last year, um, and it is just really, really cute. So it's, um, so you, what, what you do is, I should have grabbed the map too, you go around the World Showcase, and you find these little things, and you stick, um, like, the stickers to it for each location. Um, I think this one, yeah, you had to find Figment and certain portraits, so, um, you go around and then when you find Figment, you put his sticker there in that country. Um, it's a kid's activity, but my friend and I really, really enjoy doing it. It's just a lot of fun, and then you get little things like this, and, um, this year we actually got, like, some pretty decent cups, so <clears throat> it's just a lot of fun, uh, and... I forgot to show this to you guys. It's just a tiny little coloring book, but I had to do the map so that I could get it. Um, so it just says Festival of the Arts. And this, I was testing my chameleon markers. So I do want to go back and this is the Epcot ball. So I want to finish that. Um, but it's just really, really, I don't even know if you can see this. My camera's a little upside down and backwards today. So apologies in advance for that. Um, but it obviously bled all the way through to this side which is fine. Again, this was just a little more of a keepsake than anything. It's only, then you get some stickers, Figment and Mickey. So just very, very cute. Most of the pages are the same, but you could, I guess I could just grab my Crayolas and scribble in here. I, I really love this one, <laughs> obviously. So yeah, just something really cute. Just wanted to show that to you guys because it got um, left behind. Uh, but it's still a coloring book. So without further ado, we will jump into um, our fairy's gray scale here. And uh, this one, I really enjoy the imagery in this book. Um, it's much more on the adult side. Um, they're not so cutesy. That's the one that I, I have done. Um, if you watch the complete book, you've seen that but I don't mind showing it to you again um but yeah they're a little some of them are this one's cute but some of them are a little more adult like this one and <clears throat> not that one but the other one with the man like I don't know they're just and the one that we're even coloring to like that <laughs> so definitely gonna have to mark this video as not for children but um because we're going to be coloring this one today that we started when I did the spree marker review. And I'm going to try to remember to post that in the cards up above. Um, and so yeah, I am i don't remember what color I did for this, but we'll just go ahead and um, jump right in here. I think I'm going to start with her skin, so we'll find, oops, sorry, a good skin tone here. I'm thinking about rose beige. I think I want to do that. Oh, I forgot my little book. Um, let me go grab that and I will be right back. I'm not even going to stop the camera because I'll, I'll be right back. Alrighty, friends, I need my trusty notebook here because we've had quite a bit go on this week. Ugh, excuse the hair. So yeah, I think I'm going to grab um, Rose Beige, which is 97 in this, oh, excuse me, 84 spree marker set. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and I guess start on her face. And a little book's falling over. So how is everybody? How are you holding up? Everybody doing okay? We are still, well, I still haven't gotten a call back to work. So that's fun. Now this is gonna dry a lot. Um, lighter than it looks because there is a black background on here. 
which let's talk about that for a second. I did a little bit in my coloring book collection, but I don't really notice the problem with the books, like not standing up and stuff. And I'm just gonna go right over her lips. I probably shouldn't have done that though because I got her teeth. Whoops. Oh, I'm gonna try to, I'll grab the blender marker. See if we can get some of that out. Just try not to get a big old streak on her face. Um, but yeah, the black background, it doesn't bother me any, but you do want to still put a sheet of paper behind because as you can see, it does bleed through. There's her face. <laughs> so you want to make sure that is back there. And I got her hair a little bit, but I'm, I think I'm going to end up doing it a darker color. So I don't think it's going to matter too much. Um, but yeah, the black background, do you guys have an issue with it? I mean, I know it's a little like bumpy, but I don't, I don't know, maybe it's because my bookshelf is like jam packed right now that it's not um, like falling over. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, how is everybody? It's been a pretty busy week for us. Um, Yesterday was Father's Day, so happy belated Father's Day to all of the fathers out there. Um, we, we wanted to make, so I found on Pinterest, um, these drinks, and it, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Moscow Mule, but, um, it's a take on that. It was the, it's called the Maui Mule, and it's really, really pretty, um, and it's made with... I don't know if you guys have heard of the brand Kinky Pink. Um, it's a vodka liqueur. Um, and it's very good. It's blood orange, passion fruit, and mango. So it's really, really good. But we had a heck of a time. I was like, oh, we'll be able to find it. I've seen it in the stores back home. Like, no problem. Well, the ABC store was out completely. And then, um... This is a little more orangey for a skin tone, but she's a fairy, so oh well. Um, so I was like, all right, well, we're going to Walmart anyway for our groceries, so we'll check there and their liquor side. They didn't have it at all, like not even a sign for it. So my roommate was like, well, let's just stop by like the Publix, which is the grocery store down here, um, and that liquor store next to it we'll see if they have it. And I was like, okay, we'll try there. So we get there and I go in and I'm like, I go over to the vodka cause that's usually where it's at. And I was like, ugh, it's not here either. Um, but it was, um, it was just in a different, it was with the liqueurs instead of the vodkas. So we finally found it. And once I finish her fingers here, well, her hand, I'll grab it. The bottle's sitting right here on the table. Um, it's really pretty and it's really good and we're not like huge drinkers. We'll have like a drink a week, but, um, we wanted to try this and it turned out really good, but you use, so it's like a shot and a half of the pink and then a shot of regular or a half a shot of regular vodka and then ginger beer, which is non-alcoholic. And then, um, is that her finger? It's huge. I guess it is. I'm going to color it like her finger. I'm not really sure what's going on there. Um, but, and then you, oh, there's going to be a streak there. Oh, well. I'm not really sure how to tackle this under the water, but we'll figure it out. Um, oh, gosh, what was I saying? Oh, the ginger beer, and then, which is, oh, the one we got was so gingery. <laughs> really strong. Um, and then, I think that's it. Oh no, and then you make these blue ice cubes with pea flour, like extract, I don't know. It's blue food coloring, um, but here. Oh, dang it, I'm sorry. This is the, the vodka, 
It's really pretty. It's really good. Yeah. Mango, passion fruit, and blood orange. And I'll just stick this in, like, Sprite. <laughs> um. And then, yeah, you do the, uh, um, ice cubes. And I had to smash them with a hammer. They were so hard. Wait, because you want to crush them up and put them on top. And then it makes, like, this really cool ombre effect in the drink. So, um, we wanted to try that last night. We kind of celebrated Father's Day, even though we're not fathers or mothers, but, um, it was still an occasion. We made steaks. We made, um, <clears throat> Red Lobster. If you didn't know, they have their biscuits in a box form. So we picked some of the, well, I've had those forever. So we finally made them and they were so good. Like they taste like just, just like from the restaurant. They were so good. Um, so yeah, yesterday was a lot of fun, but I was like, really, we can't find this anywhere. <laughs> Apparently father's like kinky pink too. Um, I'm trying to get better. This is random, but I'm trying to get better with using my chisel tip. It's going okay. <laughs> Not great, but okay. Um, I use it a lot in my color by numbers cause I feel like I, if I mess those up, it's okay. <laughs> But yeah, so yesterday was pretty lazy. We just watched Project Runway. Um, earlier this week, we watched The Joker with Joaquin Phoenix, and I didn't expect that to be as hard to watch as it was. It was, um, it was very good, but it was sad, man. It's not like when you think of The Joker and you think of like Batman, it's not that at all. So if you go to watch it, be prepared. Um, it's about the guy before the Joker, like before he uses that pseudonym and his mental illness and stuff. And it's really, it's really hard to watch, but it's no wonder that Joaquin Phoenix won the Oscar for it because wow, <laughs> that man can act. It was so good. But again, it was very sad. So I'd like to watch it again to kind of pick up on the little things, but gonna wait a while. <laughs> what else did we watch? We watched um, Spirited Away, which was really good. That's an anime uh, from like 2000. <laughs> um, but it's a very good movie. It's cute. It's weird, but aren't all animes weird? Well, kind of weird. And that's not, I'm not saying that in a bad sense. It's just a way different way of thinking than we do in, here in America with cartoons and stuff. It's a little darker, but it was good. Okay, now I'm getting nervous <laughs> for her body. I guess I should zoom you guys in here, but I really want to focus on this and then I will. Um, so yeah, what did we do Monday? Monday I filmed most of the day. It ugh, Everything, not everything was fighting me, but I got started late in the day and then it took, like, our, I don't know if it was the internet or just my computer deciding to be slow that day, but that's why the video didn't go up until technically, like, Tuesday because, um, everything was just being really, really slow. Sorry, friends, concentrating. <laughs> have to go around her bum I think and then down her leg it's the only option this marker is really juicy I don't know if you can see that but it's leaving like puddles right. yeah I'm really really liking these spree markers I watched Anne yesterday and she was talking about them too I was really behind on videos this week too trying to catch up on everybody's which I've decided that I just can't watch everyone all the time so I have been picking and choosing my videos because there's other things I want to do too like listen to my audiobooks <laughs> which I haven't done in a while so I'm probably gonna have to start the third Harry Potter over again yeah maybe not maybe I'll just start the chapter over again but yeah um I'm gonna get this grass a little bit, but oh well, we'll go over it with green. 
Um, so yeah, I've just kind of been picking and choosing videos, and <clears throat> I also just want to say, if I miss your comments, I apologize. Um, I'm not getting notifications like I should, so if I miss it, I'm sorry. I do try to go back and look, like scroll back, oh shoot, <laughs> my book slid and I've got a brown spot. Well, that's a rock, so we can probably cover it with a darker brown. All right, that didn't go so bad. Um, but yeah, so if I miss it, I do apologize. Um, I'll, fi I'll see it eventually. It just might not be right away. But thank you all for commenting so much. I really appreciate it. I've gotten a lot of comments. And we're at 180-some subscribers. I want to say 84, but I could be wrong which is super exciting. So yay, almost to 200, woohoo! So thank you all for those of you guys who um, share my video and share my channel with others. I really, really appreciate that. You don't understand how much, probably. But yeah, all of us here on YouTube, when we say we appreciate you guys, we really do. So it's really, really cool. I know it's not that huge of a number, but who cares? It's better. It's more than where I started, so why not? Um, what else on Monday? Oh, I got um, this little, I saw on, so Diamond Painting with Donnie, if you guys Diamond Paint, um, I saw on her Instagram, I believe, she has, because she has an Etsy shop as well, it's called Drill Pen, Pen Frenzy. So she has drill pens and accessories and stuff. And it's this little vacuum that sucks up your drills. It's just like a desk vacuum and it's so cute. So I got one and I finally got it, put the batteries in and uh, it took a minute for me to figure out how to work it, but uh, cause there weren't really any instructions. Um, but it works it, cause I spilled some, <laughs> actually my roommates, I was like, I'm gonna spill these out, do you mind? <laughs> and I spelled out the drills. <clears throat> and uh, picked the, it picked them right up and then you just open the top or the bottom I can't remember and you dump them so I was like this is a game changer for if I spill my drills because I well I don't do it that often I don't spill a ton that often but um, it, it's happened that's for sure and now I'm going to take black and I'm going to go in and do her tattoos just kind of like um, the tribal style tattoos. So I'm just gonna trace them. Oh, I should zoom you guys in before I do that. So now I'm gonna have to readjust here. Got my computer sitting on the edge, so I don't wanna, oh there, you can see where I'm at now. Cool. So that is actually almost filled in. I'm trying not to let it bleed too much because I don't want it to look funny. But I want her tattoos to be black. I don't think this would take that much concentration, but it has. <laughs> I guess because there's such small spots, especially right here. I should. Hmm. Where is my. Fine liner. That's what I should be using, not this. Let me, I'm gonna have to pause and I will be right back, guys. We're at 20 minutes, so okay. I will be right back. Alrighty, guys, we're back. I found it. So I'm just gonna take this Sharpie, the Ultra Fine Retractable, and um, trace over her tattoos. I hope it's not dead. Um,. Sorry, my hand is in the way. Lefty problems. Funny story about this marker. <laughs> I got it by accident. Because at work, um, at Starbucks, we, at the ones at Disney, we handwrite on the cups, on every cup. So we need, we go through Sharpies like mad. And, uh, oh yeah, this is working a lot better. Um... So I bought these thinking that they were the regular tipped but retractable because they do make those and they weren't. They were the fine, ultra fine and these won't write on plastic cups so I was like oh 
all right, well, I'll just use them at home, and now I've found out that they work pretty well for detailing like this. So yeah, but I don't know where we were. Uh, but Monday, I got tagged in Danny Button's video for the scavenger hunt. So I'm gonna try, this is gonna be another full week of videos, guys. Um, last week was, and this week's gonna be two. So I'm kind of not <laughs> too happy about it because I know when I go back to work, I'm not gonna be able to post this frequently. Maybe I will, if I can get into a good filming schedule. But, um, well, we shall see. So don't, uh, when I let you know that I'm going back to work, which I hope is soon, um, just be prepared for maybe, like, three videos a week instead of, like, five. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, she tagged me in her scavenger hunt video. So I'm, I'm going to probably film that at, right after this. I have to go through my pages and probably print some off of PDFs and stuff, but I can't even remember off the top of my head what the prompts are. I know one's a bee, one is a man, something with art supplies, and then I, that's really all I can remember. Um, but quite a few people have done that video already. Uh, Jamie Loves Coloring did hers. Lavella did hers. Uh, someone else did it. I have no idea who I'm going to tag, but I'll to find somebody, I guess. <laughs> and of course, anybody else who wants to do it. Oh my gosh, this is so much easier than what I was trying to do with that thick marker. Um... So yeah, I'm glad to hear feedback also from you guys about <clears throat> not really caring for the speedy flip throughs. That makes my life so much easier. <laughs> uh, that way I don't have to spend all that time on those short little videos. So I do have quite a few books coming. I kind of lost all self-control this week. Um, so yeah, there's that. <laughs> I uh, watched Danny's video on her coloring book collection, and her part one was all the Disney books, and I found some of them on Amazon, so I was just like, screw it, I'm spending the money, and <laughs> I'm getting some of these books. So, I did. So they're on their way, uh, probably not going to be here till the end of the month. And then, who did I see had the Disney, I think it was Kate from Kate's Coloring Heaven, and she had the Disney Kaleidoscopes book. So I found it on Etsy at 70 East Books, which is uh, June. You've probably heard of her. Um, she does, she sells a lot of different books and they come from South Korea. <clears throat> or she's from South Korea at least. Um, and she sends her books in these cute little bags. I talked about it in my uh, thing. <laughs> Coloring book collection. Um, with the airy book and the ballet book. Um, and she is great because I bought the book. It was $24. I found it on Amazon for 30 something. And I was like, I'm not, if I can find it on Etsy and support her rather than, um, spend the money on Amazon, I'm going to do that. So I did find it. And then she messaged me like instantly and was like I'm so sorry but this book the first one this book is out of print and I was like oh okay that's fine she was like can I give you this one instead and it's basically the same thing I think it's just like the second one maybe um and I was like yeah of course like that's fine um because she wasn't charging me anymore or any anything like that we didn't have to deal with that because that would have had to go through PayPal and I was like, yeah, I'd rather just have the extra book than deal with a, just not a dispute. That makes it sound bad, but you know, try to deal with PayPal to get my money back. Um, and she was like, thanks for your sweet message. And I was like, I'm just being a decent person. <laughs> it's not your fault that the book is out of print. Maybe, yeah, take it down off your site, but it's not your fault. So 
have a book coming from her, and I think that one might get here before the French books do. Because when I checked the tracking, it said Las Vegas, Nevada already, and I was like, I don't, all right, <laughs> maybe she's in Nevada today? I don't know. But, um, or maybe that's just where it's going to get picked up by USPS, so I should check that tracking again and just see where it's at, but I'm excited for those. <clears throat> and then this week you will see a flip through of Vivid Publishers, Shintaka Harath published a new Gods and Goddesses book. And I don't usually get his books, but I think my taste has changed because I'm really liking them now. And uh, I got a couple that when that book first released and everybody was doing the flip throughs, um, it was on sale for half price. So I got a couple of them um, <clears throat> for friends too. If you really like mythology, they might not color in them, but I don't know, I thought it would be a cute little gift, so got some for them. Um, but it's a gorgeous book. I love the imagery in it. It's the um, depictions of the gods. It's really, really cool. I'm like going out of lines here, but you know what? It's all right. I'm not like being very particular with this page. I don't know why. I think I just kind of want to get it done. It's been sitting there since I did that spree marker video, and I think that was at the end of last month. So, <laughs> there's that. Or the very beginning of this month. <clears throat> um, yeah, so Monday was fun. Painted my nails. My nails have since just started cracking off, which these are my real nails, so it doesn't feel good. Um, <laughs> it's not like a fake nail just popping like the other one did last week. These are actually my real nails now. So excuse the um, chips and stuff. But, yeah, um, they just started cracking off yesterday, and I was like, all right, time to clip them, then they're getting too long. Which is fine, because I'm going to have to go back to work soon anyway, so. But, yeah, um, I was going to say something else, too, but I can't remember. It's fine. And then Tuesday, we went to... So this was before I realized how bad it was getting again here in Florida. So that is my excuse. But again, we were being safe. Um, so we met up with friends. We drove about two, well, an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes um, down to this town called Tarpon Springs. If you guys are Floridians, you might know it. It's, it's near Clearwater, which is near Tampa. Um, and it was a really cute little town. Um, it's like a, it must be where um, a lot of the Greek immigrants settled because it's a very, very Greek little town. Um, and there's this restaurant there called Mama's that has such good Greek food. So we sat outside and sat away from people. And we met our friends and we ate and we shopped. We didn't really get much. We got soap from this um, the place across the street, which I think somehow they're related to the restaurant. Um, but we got a bunch of soap, so let me grab one, because they're like big bars. Wow, I almost fell down. They're right here. So, we got, my roommate and I each got eight, because they were four for $12. Um, and they're like decent size. I know you're zoomed in way far, but if we zoom you out, they're decent sized bars of soap. And this one's called Bite Me, sorry. This is the first one on top. But it smells really, really good. And they're handmade goat's milk soap. So, and then there's the address. So, um, yeah, it was just this really, really cute little town. And then after we ate, we went to the beach, which was not crowded at all. It was like actually more of a state park than a beach. Well, okay, that's a lie. It was a state park with a beach. Because <laughs> you, like, drove through the wooded part, and then at the very back, it hit the water. And there was a beach there, and the water was, like, the perfect temperature, not too warm. Because it was on the Gulf side, which can get very warm. And it's, um, stingray season. So you want to, like, shuffle your feet in the sand. So that if there are stingrays by the shallow in the shallow water, you don't step on one. 
because that would hurt like a you know what and it's just not good for you so <clears throat> apparently that scares them well not scares them but warns them that somebody's coming and they move um because they won't just attack you but uh yeah that was really cool and they were like we were walking with um so the family that we go with is the family we had over for dinner the other week so they have a son that's about our age and um we were walking with him and looking at shells and all that fun stuff and um sorry my hands in the way i know just give me one second and i'll move it and then you can see it um so that was cool we saw like actual crabs like like crab pinchy crabs um not just hermit there were hermit crabs too but they were like crab crabs and I was like, I'm more worried about them than the dang stingrays. Um, so yeah. It was just a super nice day. It was funny, my roommate drove and she like passed out in the beach chair. I was like, she's gone. <laughs> Her hat fell off, it was funny. <clears throat> and then we drove back that same day. Got a little touch of sun, not gonna lie. We were kind of burnt. Um, because we were under, so like, again, it was kind of state parkish, so there were a bunch of palm trees in this one area. So we just parked it under the palm trees so we wouldn't need an umbrella. And um, at one point, both of us kind of got in the sun and we didn't realize we were in the sun because most of us was still under the, the tree, but like the right side of my body and I think her left, we were in the sun and we didn't know it. So, <clears throat> and I'm super, Obviously, you can tell by my hands. I'm super fair-skinned, so I burn right away. And also, it was kind of my fault because I thought, like, this. it was later in the day, so I was like, oh, it's like 4 o'clock. The UV rays aren't that high. Well, you're on the beach. <laughs> Shana, wake up. <laughs> so it's my own fault, but I do try to be careful because one of my uncles passed away from skin cancer, so I really don't want to do that because if they don't catch it right away, it's bad news. And it just spread so fast, so I actually have a freckle on my leg that I want to get checked out because it's new. So, yeah. But we had a really, really fun day. Oops. Oh well. Um. I hope my head's not. No, it's fine. So that's what we did Tuesday. It was just on the road, and then we came home and basically knocked out. <laughs> Um, what did I write there? Oh my gosh, there was this massive, when we were down there, we were eating, um, and Blaine is like, whoa, well, look at that bug, it was a grasshopper, and I kid you not, it was that big, like, it was a good four inches long, it was huge, and I was like, oh, I would hate to see the moss down here, <laughs> oh my god, it was massive. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. It's so crazy. And, uh, we've just, Florida has big bugs. Palmetto bugs, oh, they're gross. They look like roaches, but massive. Apparently termites is a thing, too. Well, I guess they're, they're a thing everywhere. Because we had termite inspectors a couple weeks ago come in just to make sure. I was like, I haven't seen anything. And he was like, well, it doesn't look like there's anything here. And I was like, thank God, because I'm already dealing with the roaches. So, yep. Um, I don't know, what else? I, I have like random crap written down, but yeah. So then Wednesday I had my dance class and that's always fun. I think we finally settled on a piece to do for next year's show. And again, this is over Zoom. It's an it's intense. It's like true to my teacher Deborah. It's true to her form because it's fast and then slow, and then it's just very much her style, which I love. But whoo, I kicked my butt this week. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
me. I'm a little phlegmy lately. My nose is like <clears throat> not happy with me. Sorry, concentrating. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I did that. Um, I've got some DP unboxings coming for you guys. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And quite a few flip throughs because I've got a bunch of books coming. Um, and I'm gonna get, well, I have, I bought Deborah Muller's new PDF book. Um, I have Flower, uh, Flower Haiku and, um, Age of Elegance from Ellie Marks that I showed you guys briefly on the second part of my complete books, which was the PDF. So I have those that I need to do full flips of. I have Deborah Muller's new book that I need to do a flip of. Um, I'm planning to get, I upped my Patreon this month for Hannah Lynn, which I also think I mentioned before, but it's okay. Um, and so I get a PDF each month. So um, I think I'm gonna get just opt in for her new book when it's released and then she'll just send that to me. So that's exciting. And then that's the decades book, which I'm really excited about. I've been really into her stuff lately, obviously. And I'm so close to having all of her books. After I got those PDF bundles for cheap, for a discount on her site, um, which I don't know how that happened, so don't ask me. It just, I downloaded something and then it gave me the offers, so, um, yeah. But, oh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so I'm, I think I'm like four or five books away from having all of her books, which I think I'm just gonna get them all on PDFs. So I'll just stay at this tier on her Patreon for like four or five months and then I'll have her books, which will be really cool until she decides to release another one. I really want her Christmas book. That one's really cute. So yeah. I'm very much into her and Deborah Muller at the moment, just because it's easy to get their PDFs too. So that's a plus. Um, but yeah. Um, I haven't done too, too much. Oop, I bumped the table. <clears throat> too, too much coloring this week on the side. Finally, last night I started the skin of my Hannah Lynn girl on the unicorn floaty. So she will be finished hopefully tonight. Um, I still have quite a bit to do, but I've done most of her in Crayola. Her skin is Prisma, which it's my first attempt at doing actual like skin tone that's not marker <laughs> um, with pastel over top. So that's really cool. And I think it's turning out pretty good. It's not perfect. I still have a lot of work to do with like shadows and the light and stuff on her face, but it's not bad. And like the tone looks really good itself. So I just have to finish the rest of her body. I started it really late last night and I was too tired to finish. <laughs> so I have to do that. Um, but yeah, lots of flip throughs coming. I got some new books on Book Outlet. They had Baby Farm Animals by Jeanette Wommel, so I snatched that up real quick. And then I got an Alice book. And then I also got um, the Alice special from Coloring Heaven, which I'm hoping they email me today because I'm having an issue with them. I got the subscription for this discounted deal and then I went on the other day and it was like, nope, you don't have any subscriptions. And I'm like, what? That's not true because I paid for it. <laughs> so I don't know if it's just the website or what, but I need to get that straightened out. And then when I go on, it says I don't have any active orders and I just paid for that Alice magazine. So I'm kind of a little peeved at them right now. So I'm hoping they email me back today or tomorrow because um, I did email them on Friday so it's not really fair for of me to ask and I don't know the 
time difference, so it's not really fair of me to ask them to reply on the weekend, but I'm hoping I get a reply today or tomorrow, or I will be emailing them again. Um, I was going to go out today. I have some packages to mail out, and um, I was going to go to the pharmacy, but I called the pharmacy, and they said I don't have any prescriptions, so I was like, well, then I'm just I'm going to mail the packages when all of them are ready to go. And I'll just hang tight here and probably film most of the day. When I'm done this, like I said, I want to do the scavenger hunt and I want to, I think I showed you in May, my May haul, those paint markers um, from Crayola. And I want to do her wings with them. So I want to test them out with you guys. So I think I'm going to, because I doubt we'll get to it in this color and chat. So um, yeah, we're already at. No, 40 minutes, I think. And I don't want this to be too, too long. I can't believe I've only gotten this much done. We're going to at least try to get her hair done. Um, so I, I'll probably just stay here and film. I know you guys said that um, you like the color and chats about an hour long, so I'm going to try to keep them that way and cut them cut them back a little bit for you guys. I know they started to creep into the 130 and 115. So, and that takes my computer a long time. Sorry, I bumped the camera. A long time to um, process as well. But I'm gonna have to add gel pen work here and these are tiny. Um, and all that, so, whoo, that one got big. Oh well, it's okay. Um, so I'll probably just white out her teeth with gel pen, which I'd have that, but I don't wanna stick my hand in it. So we'll wait. But if we can get most of her done, I think I want to do the outline and the wings, maybe gray. But then we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I'm just going to keep coloring for now and zoom you guys out a little bit. If the video is a little bit longer, it's all right. <clears throat> um, let's do her hair. I don't know what color I want to do her hair. Should I make her blonde? Should I go like natural? I didn't think this far ahead. I never do, but <clears throat> excuse me, kind of struggling today. Maybe I'm thinking kind of the sunflower color just because she has the roses in her hair. I feel like the yellow would go really well with that. This one, which is going to look different for you than it does for me. And I hope this lighting is okay. It seems to be all right. Finally think I figured it out. Oh, this is hard. Or marigold. That's a little, like, golder. I don't know. I think I want to do sunflower 44. When I keep coming back to a color, that's usually when I make up my mind and, like, okay, that's what my intuition is telling me to do. That's really how I color. <laughs> Just on intuition. Oops, I didn't mean to grab the chisel tip, but oh well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like that. I can always go in. I, I like using, and I learned this from Anna as well, I like using the fan pastels to shade. So this is random, but I've been want, meaning to ask this. What other kind of YouTube do you guys watch? I mostly watch coloring and diamond painting, but I also really like other craft channels. Like one of my favorites is um, Nerdy Crafter. And she mostly tests um, craft kits, and she's just really, really funny. So I love her channel. Who else do I watch? I watch Jeffree Star, which you can have your opinions about that. I have mine. You can have yours. <laughs> um, who else do I watch that's not coloring or diamond painting? There's really not that many. Um, Oh no, that's a good question. Hmm. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, that's kind of it. Oh, I watch Mariah Elizabeth too. She's also a crafter. Really, that's what I'm on YouTube for. Not much else. So every now and then I'll like Google how to or YouTube how to do something, but 
Yeah. I wish I had YouTube how to put a screw in the wall <laughs> last week. But I didn't. So there's that. Alright, I think I'm gonna switch to the nib tip. Maybe not. For down there I might. Oh, my head's in the way again, sorry. Okay, what else do I have to talk about? Oh, I want to look away, but I can't. Get this section of hair done. Yeah, I'm liking this yellow color a lot. I was going to do it like a non normal <laughs> hair color. These chisel tips are juicy. Ooh. But I guess I've decided against that. So, well, and this is pretty bright yellow. I don't think I've seen <laughs> many humans with bright yellow hair. Unless it, well, okay, I can't say that, but not naturally. Um, yeah, so Wednesday, Thursday, I did some coloring. I've colored some mandalas. Um, oh, we watched The Princess Diaries, too, this week. Sorry, I'm just reading my notes. Um, I don't know why I can't, like, think for myself today. <laughs> it's just not happening. Um, yeah, so... I've colored some mandalas in my color by number book, so you'll see those at the end of the month. And I thought I was running out of my favorite Cali art, which is mauve shadow, but, and I think I am, but um, it worked okay on the chisel tips, so. I don't know if it was just upside down or if it really is running out. But I guess I will find out. She has a lot of hair. But yeah, I don't know, I just, I think I'm like stressing myself out too much. And I know I shouldn't, but somehow I am about like having enough colored for the month end and having enough content for the channel. So I need to snap myself out of that because it is coming along just fine. And I need to stop trying to plan every little bit of the channel and just let it, let the videos come as they come. So, yeah, I think I'm just starting to feel a, not quite a burnout, but I need to, I need to slow myself down. I need to chill out. <laughs> oh, that might streak, but oh well, it's in her hair. It might be okay. Um, sorry, little wispy hairs. Uh, yeah, so I think that's been kind of my problem. Saturday, I did absolutely nothing. I laid in bed and watched YouTube and Netflix all day. I literally didn't do a thing. I think I just needed that just to chill. I didn't color, I didn't diamond paint. I need to get back to diamond painting. I'm almost done, my ladybird pony thing, whatever the title is. Um, so I just need to get it done because I have um, some unboxings coming for you from One's from AliExpress, and then I got my Star Ore recently. So, the AliExpress still isn't here. Who knows when that'll get here, but the Star Ore is here, which I'm excited about. So I'll try. And again, a lot of, like, this week is packed, because I have um, the Scavenger Hunt, which I'm going to try to get up to you guys tomorrow. Um, I have... The paint marker video I want to get out to you guys. I have um, the flip through, and then there's something else that I wanted to do this week too. Oh, there's the diamond painting pen unbagging that you guys will see. That one's actually, I already have it uploaded to YouTube. It's just scheduled for Friday. So that's coming to you as well. So there's quite a few videos. I need to do my Yippie Ko IA video too, but I think. Again, you're just going to see that 
next, early next month, like the third or something. I'm just trying to get as much in now as I can before I go back to work. I guess that's really what it is. Because I'm afraid of falling off the wagon. Which, if I can just keep myself to a filming schedule on my weekends, the days that I have off, then we should be just fine. Perfect. Cool. I like that. And I'm going to make her eyes green. What is 46? Ah, sorry. That's too green. Let's go with pale green, which is 59. No. Yeah. 59. Um... So yeah, uh, let's see, let's do her eyeball, that color, and then I'm going to just put in a light, light blue, I think, which is what I normally do. Turquoise blue does not look turquoise blue. Maybe sky blue in her eye? Hmm. Yeah, let's do that, which is 76, that's 67. <laughs> um, oh, that's not in the, you don't belong here, sir. Put the wrong marker in the wrong pouch. I had all my markers out for something I was doing the other day. I don't even remember what that was. Davi, maybe? Where's 76? That's 60, oh, right next to it, wow. Wow. <clears throat> um. Yeah. Ooh, is that too dark? Ooh, that might be too dark. We'll see when it dries. Oh, is that creepy? That's a little bit creepy. Oh well, she's a fairy. Um, so yeah, there's just, oh, I wish <clears throat> they would bring back like YouTube Messenger. This is super random, but I saw that I wrote it down because there was something like people uh, like Jamie, uh, oh my goodness, Jamie's love for coloring, wow, um, she and Samantha Oswald, they've messaged me, or re commented about doing color alongs, um, and I would love to, but it would be so much easier if I could just message them on, uh, YouTube rather than trying to find them on Instagram or Facebook, but, you know, that's life, so... Well, this video might be longer. I want to keep going, so we're going to keep going. I don't know what color to do all of this. I don't remember what color that tree was, but it's too dark, so I don't want to do it that color. What's 102? Raw umber. Maybe we'll do that. Let's do the rest of the trees that color. Um, I'm sorry if this color in chat's a little bit. Not a little bit. A lot of bit random. What in the heck? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I shouldn't have even bothered with this stuff. Um, maybe that is the color that I used. No, it's definitely a little bit lighter. So we'll use this one. Um, yeah, I chatted with my dad a lot this week. He's got some health stuff that we just don't... Well, maybe that is the same color. We just don't know exactly what's happening, but he wants to come down. He wants to drive down here, and that makes me kind of nervous. Just because it's about... a. It says 13 when I put it in the GPS, but it's more like a 15 hour drive. Um, and then adding in stops and stuff, so uh, I don't know. It just makes me nervous to have him drive down here all by himself. I'm sure he'd be fine. His car is a lot better. He just had it in the shop, so it's running okay. And then there's my stepdad with his health stuff, so he has surgery coming up again soon. I think this is the same color. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh well. That's fine. If the grayscale's not so much there, I don't I don't really mind. It's just trees. Um so yeah. But I've been trying to think ahead and I think that's stressing me out. I'm thinking about next month. So next month, um, I'll just go ahead and say it in here. John and I, the bibliophile colorist, are going to do a color along. Anything summer, anything that says summer to you, doesn't matter what book or what PDF or whatever, you can, anything that says summer to you. And then I believe 
Um, so again, I'll do like an official video for this, but it'll be really short. Um, I believe we decided on hashtag days of summer coloring 2020. So if you go ahead and if you're on Instagram, you can use it over there. Um, on Facebook, wherever. Um, mostly Instagram and then here on YouTube. So if you guys want to participate in that, that will be going on in July. Excuse me. And then um, in August, I have lined up um, Anglecova in August. So anything from Camellia Anglecova. Um, and there's still some stuff I'm trying to work out there. I know um, Michelle from, I almost said Color Chats and Cats, that's what she used to be. But Kits and Caboodles, she's going through some stuff right now with her little baby. So um, I'll touch base with her. And if I have a co host, cool. If not, that's okay too. Um, so I don't want to put any more pressure on her. And I'm not going to, obviously. So we'll see. But I'm going to do it anyway. So that'll be in August. So you guys can think ahead to that if you'd like to, but you don't have to. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to find some pages in there, trying to figure out my scavenger hunt pages. That's kind of what's been going through my mind. I'm like, hmm, where am I going to find all these pages for the scavenger hunt? <laughs> but I'll find them. They just probably won't be um, completed pages. The crazy thing... Um, when I was doing my complete book, this outside is going to be black, so I don't mind if it bleeds. Um, when I was doing my complete coloring book collection, I was like, man, I have not colored. I've done more coloring in the last two months that I've been on this channel than I ever have. Ever. Because um, I have a bunch more books, like I mentioned, back in Pennsylvania that have not been colored in. So, I really need to get my start coloring in some different books, but I have my favorites, and I guess that's kind of part of the problem, <laughs> but that's okay. We're going to say that this little dot up here, you can't even see what I'm doing, I'm sorry. This little dot up here is going to be tree, and then that's her wing, so we'll come over here, do these trees. You can't tell what's tree and what's grass. Let's go ahead and use the smaller tip. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm excited to do this paint marker video, so kind of want to leave that for last because I think I'm going to have to set it. I did get a fixative finally, so I need to set all my... I'm going to try to finish the images that need setting today <laughs> um, because then I can just go outside and spray them all down. I've never used a fixative before, so wish me luck. I hope I don't ruin my images. I'll try a small piece of a page first and see how it reacts and then go from there I guess because there's really no instructions on the bottle it's the Grumbacher fixative matte finish I think um, it was a suggestion from Jamie Fran I asked her what she uses and that's what she told me to get so I'll try it see how it goes I think this is tree right here Some of the grass is dying, I guess, because I'm getting brown on it. Um, but yeah, so I am excited to try that, but I'm also very nervous. I think at some point, it's kind of too late in the video to do it now, but I think I'm going to do some get to know me questions because I feel like I talk about what I do during the week, but you guys still don't really know who I am. So, you know, I work for Disney and all that good stuff, but. Uh, the ones Rachel Ray did some on her channel, and I found that article, so one of these days I'll just set up my computer when I'm setting up everything else and have the questions pulled up, and we can go through those. That would be fun. It's a lot of questions, so we wouldn't get through all of them in one video, but at least it would give me something to talk about, really, in addition to what I'm, what I've done that week. I think once I go back to work, stories will be more interesting for sure. But um, down here, the coronavirus has gotten worse. So they've uh, made it mandatory, finally, in our county to 
wear a mask and we went to Walmart yesterday like I was talking about. I'm gonna have streaks on this tree. I'm not paying close enough attention to what I'm doing. Um, and people still didn't have masks on and I'm like, why are you, I don't know. I know uh, my grandma, one of the guys that she knows, he works at Walmart and they've been told not to enforce the mask thing because people are getting aggressive. So I understand that you wanna keep your employees safe, but come on, man. I saw at least three or four people. Most people did have a mask on. I shouldn't complain, but I'm like, come on. If it's a mandatory thing in the county, why don't you have a mask on? Give me a break. So, yeah, even when we were down in Tarpon Springs, I, we still wore our masks. Not so much on the beach because it wasn't crowded and you're outdoors and all that, but ugh, I don't know. It's frustrating. And it's making me nervous to go back to work because cases have skyrocketed. We've hit 100,000 cases in Florida. That's insane. I don't think we should be opening back up yet. I think they need to close down the parks, the Universal Parks, and we shouldn't be opening yet. But I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, I went right out of the line. Dang it. Oh, well. It's okay. It's just a coloring page, y'all. I could probably get that off. I keep forgetting to use my blender get that off but yeah so I won't go into that anymore it's just kind of frustrating and it's getting scary again and for someone like I'm not super immune suppressed but I, I am still and it is it scares me so and because I didn't realize how bad it was when we went down to the beach I'm like great now am I have I overly exposed myself but you know I took the risk and it was my own fault um coming up on a week though I know the incubation is 14 days but I feel fine at a week so I'm, I'm hoping that if I were to get symptoms I would have gotten them by now but yeah this is gonna be hard to blend off <laughs> But anyway, not to dwell on the negative, just something I've been thinking about, so. But allergies sure are kicking my butt though. And I know it's allergies, I'm positive, because the pollen count is skyrocketed. <laughs> um, so. We're just gonna make it dark grass back there. Ugh, all these little grasses and stuff. It's hard to decide what to do with it. Let's do the water, maybe. Let's do, like, a greeny. There we go. Maybe this turquoise green light. I think that's the color that I want the water. This one. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and do that. 57, and we'll start wrapping up here. Let's see. What else do I want to talk to you guys about? Um, yeah, I hope, I hope you guys liked the, um, part two of the complete flips because that was something new that I just wanted to try. Um, oh, there's yellow in the water. That's gonna turn a funny color if I go over it. Eh, oh well. I can't, I don't know what I did with my blender. I stuck it somewhere and can't find it now. <laughs> but, um, I hope you guys liked that. I enjoyed it. Um, I could sit in my bed and <laughs> record. I didn't have to get up and come out here in the living room and all that good stuff. So, that was cool. And, um, like I, I was saying in the video, when I do, like, actual flip-throughs, I'll go a lot slower. And I have the Adobe Acrobat, Adobe Reader, whatever, <clears throat> on my phone, and it looks much better. And then when I... I was playing with it the one day, and, and then when I put up the video, I can put an overlay on it so that the images can't be stolen. So, it should work out all around. And I can still chat over it, too, when I turn the mic on, so it won't just be a silent video. Because I can tell you guys don't really like those. <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited. I can smell this soap. Sorry, that was distracting, but um, so.
sitting here beside me. Um, where is it? The might be the marker. Ooh, some of them smell and some of them don't. This one smells. Um, oh gosh, I lost my. <laughs> I totally went off the rails there. Um, I, yeah, I have no idea what I was talking about before that. The flip throughs and stuff, but I feel like I finished that topic. Maybe not. I don't know. So we'll see how those go anyway. Yeah. This picture is taking a lot more concentration than I thought it would. There's just a lot of little stuff in the water and like a lot of like her tattoos and stuff that they were just little and detailed. I didn't think about that when I decided to do this page with you, but I wanted to do it with you so that then I could do her wings. Um, honestly, I could color over these lily pads probably and put a different color on top. I want to do like an olive color for them, I think. Oh, so much little stuff. So much little stuff. Oh well. Try to get we're coming up on 50 minutes when, and the first part was close to 20, so this is going to be a little bit longer of a video, but I don't mind, honestly. I know you guys said about an hour is what you like, but we can go a little over that. I have to cut some stuff out of that first part too anyway, so hopefully it'll shorten it just a tad. Like the little pause. I should have just paused the camera, but oh well. See, I don't know if I should have colored skin under there too, but it looks like her leg is just totally submerged, so I think that's okay. I'm not the best at effects like that, like even shadows and stuff. I, I encroach on my shadows and then I don't have enough, so I am still learning all that, but I don't know, I usually like how things turn out. Like when I was going through my finished pictures on with the books, I, I liked how most of them turned out. Just trying to be braver and do different things. What are you guys learning right now? What like techniques or different things are you learning? I'm learning skin. <laughs> Um, and actually, I really, really, I hate to admit it because I didn't think I would like it, but I really enjoyed doing the skin, or am enjoying because I'm not finished yet, but I'm enjoying doing the skin on my Hannah Lynn girl. Never thought I would say that, but I guess because I didn't have to worry about choosing the colors because they were already chosen for me, and I'll link KP's um, channel down below, but that's who I'm following is her tutorial. Um, at least for her face, I, I've kind of figured out the order now of the colors to put down, but once I had the colors, it, it came pretty easily. It was just on her face, I wasn't really sure where to put the shadows and stuff. And I tried to add a nose and it just didn't work out, but it still looks okay. I, I, um, erased a few times, but it still looks all right. I am totally having streaks in this water, but hopefully they look like shadows. Oh, you can't even see. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm, like, in my own little world today, and my computer is very much in the way, but I don't want to knock it off the... <clears throat> I'm afraid of knocking it off the table. That would be really, really bad. Then who knows when you guys would see this video. I really wish I had um, a community tab, because then I could post to you guys, like, hey, <laughs> broke my computer, <laughs> which I hope never happens. I would cry. I just got this computer fixed. Oh man, I am like nervous Nelly today. I don't know what's wrong with me. Just overthinking again. Again. <laughs> what else is new? I feel like some weeks my color and chats are like so upbeat and so cheery and then other weeks they're like this and I'm like, I don't know what to talk about. I have so much to talk about. I don't know what to talk about. <clears throat> But they usually, when I listen back, they're not as bad as I thought they were, so. Oh man, this, these markers are so juicy, it's so hard to get them to not bleed. I'm, I'm just not skilled enough with them yet, I guess. 
Oh, I also have this a marker comparison video coming up for you guys in, at the beginning of next month. I'm gonna compare these with the Cali Arts. I need to do my research for that because I need to get, um, like, oh my gosh, what am I trying to say? I need to, um, like, find the prices and all that and do that kind of comparison as well. It's just coloring. So I'll have to choose the picture for that too. I have worked with both now, <clears throat> so I feel like I can definitely do that. All right, I'm not going to finish all this water with you guys. We're coming up on an hour, and I know there's quite a bit in the first section. So, yeah, let me just make sure there's nothing urgent I wanted to talk to you guys about. I wrote some random stuff down. And then we can stop, like, right here, because if there's a streak, it won't be too noticeable. Yeah, not too much going on. Oh, um, next month also, Aunt Net A Colorful Life. Oh, did I say this already? I'm not sure. She's doing, um, a, I believe it's gonna be a colorful Christmas 2020. Um, like a Christmas in July kind of thing. Any Christmas page. Um, and you can hashtag that on Instagram. Uh, I didn't watch the whole of her stream because my dad called, so... Um, we chatted for a while, but she did mention that in the stream that she did. I want to say Friday or Saturday. Um, so yeah, there's that as well. So again, I'll leave her a link to her channel as well and KP's. Um, yeah, I think that's really it. So like, I felt like a lot went on, but it was more so just me. <laughs> um, we did go out quite a bit. We went to the stores a few times because we had some random stuff to get so but yeah it was a fairly good week I just I really need to like chill out because <laughs> I stress myself too much about this channel so I need to stop because I, I want it to continue to be fun I don't want it to be work so but it's okay I do feel better when I feel like it stuff is planned but at the same time I stress myself out to like get to that point so Sorry friends, I really don't want <laughs> too, too many streaks, so I'm gonna try to, I'm trying to decide where to stop. I hate that. Do you guys ever have that issue, especially with alcohol markers? You don't want the streaks. Oh, I also went down the rabbit hole of cute animal videos this week on Facebook, like the dodo and stuff, they share animal videos, and a lot of them are rescue videos, so I went down that rabbit hole today, and it just makes me want an animal even more. <laughs> I'm like, I just want a puppy. I just don't have time for a puppy. I don't even have, I feel like I don't even have time for a cat, and cats are pretty self-sufficient for the most part. Um, so yeah, there's that too. But it's fun to watch. Watch the little puppies and kitties. and I like the happy ending stories, of course. And there really aren't too many that they post that aren't happy endings. Um, so, yeah, it's a fun time. Oh, this is not easy. But this would be so overwhelming with pencils. Can you imagine? Oh, I can't. I can't. It's over. It would be overwhelming to me. Maybe if you guys like, like water, doing water or something. But I, mm, it scares me. And I think we're gonna stop here. I just colored all over that lily pad, or lily or lotus or whatever it is. Um. So yeah. So there we are. Uh. Again, she's taken a lot. I always underestimate how long these things are gonna take. <laughs> I always think, oh, I can finish that picture on camera, and then I don't. Um, so once again, if you guys do want to see me finish, like, do two parts or whatever, let me know down below. Um, it probably won't happen this month because I've already got my videos planned, but maybe next month. Um, 
I want to do a Johanna picture from Ivy and the Inky Butterfly next month. Um, there's quite a few pictures that I want to do, so um, hopefully we get to them. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's been a pretty random video this time, um, but I really appreciate all of your support and you guys sticking through my me thinking through things and my uh, stream of consciousness, basically. I really appreciate it, guys. So um, with that, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, take care, and I love you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.